Let's look at information system by breaking it down to various components. There's a hardware software which would gen help us to generate information and through some menu step procedure people will be able to use the information to make better decision. And we should consider people as part of the information system. And procedure and software are the instruction to tell people what to do and the software is to tell the hardware what to do. Hardware may include computers, networking device, and computer could include server, PC, mobile device. Software here includes system software like operating system, database management system. Application software could be Microsoft Office product, accounting package, etc. And we have discussed the information hierarchy, which may include data, information, the procedure and knowledge. is considered the menu procedure or part of the business process. In terms of people, the information system can serve individual user or used by a group specific for a department or it's an enterprise-wide system and sometimes it's used to support customer or trading partner. In this slide we have what I call 7M including human resource which is people that include um, employee and customer uh, that reflect the marketplace as well and things uh, which are machine material as well as process which would tell us um, what project task or business process that uh, we should carry out and what technique or methods that we should use and certainly we shouldn't forget about money uh, which um, we have to pay employee, uh, our vendor, and to purchase um, machine or raw material. Information play a central role here to tie people, process, and things together. So we will always know who has to do what, how to do it, and when to do it. And besides who, when, what, um, sometimes we have to add where because process can be carried out in different places people can be relocated in different places and things can be certain located in different places the last is why uh, information certainly can be used to document the business goal objective and eventually realize it as a performance measure Another way to look at information or information system in an organization is look at the organizational hierarchy. From the frontline operational employee to the middle level manager or business analyst to the top level executive and managers. At the bottom, um, employee tends to focus on the operation. At the middle level, people tend to perform the control function at the executive level, uh, their focus tends to be on strategic planning, etc. For people at a different level of hierarchy, the higher they go, they tend to um, seeking information from external source. And operational employees tend to use internally generated information from business transaction. And at the lower level, the information tends to be much more detailed. At a higher level, the information tends to be more aggregated, um, high-level, summarized data. And the processing side, at the bottom, operational, the information tends to be something we call the online transaction processing system. At a high level, for top or middle-level manager, the processing is referred to as online analytical processing process the raw data to generate analytical reports and to perform query to understand the meaning of from those raw data. This 
information system triangle um, further explain different type of information system. Let's start with the online transaction processing system. That's the operational level employee will handle business transactions like customer's order. And, and that kind of system we usually refer to as online transaction processing system. The information will be stored in operational databases. The operational databases data can be extract, transform, and store in the so-called data warehouse or subset of it called data mart, which would be easier for middle top level executive to perform analytical processing, the so-called OLAP, as we have mentioned earlier. And this type of system comes with a different name, sometimes called business intelligence, decision support system, or executive information system. And the information which has been generated here sometimes need to be um, sent back and forth among different work units within the organization. That's part of the so-called workflow system or workflow software can handle this in the context of business process. There's a lot of communication and collaboration among people at a different level. That's where the workflow system, collaboration system, or so-called groupware can be very helpful. In terms of messaging system, the typical email system is still the primary system we rely on to communicate with each other. This slide summarizes some of the system type of system we have mentioned, like online transaction processing system. And in the past, we have system which been handled in the batch mode, but most of the system nowadays will be handled in online or real-time fashion. System that support the management level, um, it used to call decision support system, executive information system for top executive, or just to display performance measure as a digital dashboard. In terms of online analytical processing, there's a different technology or terminology we use to describe such a system like data warehouse business intelligence system. We also mentioned the different unit involved. A new phenomena is a system that has been used for people um, to network with each other at a social level. Sometimes certain systems can be used for strategic purpose. We call it strategic information system. We can also classify information system based on the IT platform it runs on. From the traditional mainframe PC-based client-server application system to web-based applications such as e-commerce to the emerging mobile application. That's sometimes how we classify systems. Let's look at this um, framework for extended enterprise. Let me bring up uh, all its elements. And if this is an enterprise, which we can classify it into two parts. One is the front stage or front office operation, and the other is the back office or backstage operation. Front stage may involve marketing, sales, and customer service and support. The back office include the rest, which may include accounting, manufacturing, operation, engineering, and human resources. The interaction with supplier involve um, so-called warehousing operation, logistic transportation, and order fulfillment, etc. At the front end, um, dealing with the customer, um, we usually refer to this as demand chain. It will be supported by software, which we call customer relationship management software, CRM system. The software which handles the back office operation is usually referred to as an ERP software, enterprise resource planning software. The supply chain at the back, back end usually is referred to as SCM, Supply Chain Management Software. And the distinguishment between, among those three types of systems, Supply Chain Management, ERP, or CRM software, 
um, have, has started to diminishing. Um, the ERP vendors start to expand its functionality, could cover more functions to support customer and supplier. And the concept of extended or dynamic virtual enterprise means that a company should look at the introduction of information system to integrate its operation with its supplier or even with its customer. And we could use web technology via e-commerce to provide business to consumer or business to business e-commerce operation to support our customer or provide business to business e-commerce operation to link this diagram showed us the relationship between and that's traditional resources e e information and information system first of all information can be treated as a resource and it's a resource that helps us to manage other traditional resources. However, we need an information system which actually include information as part of it to help us to capture, store, and generate proper information such that we can use it to manage other resources. An example would be an inventory information system, which will generate proper inventory data to tell us when to reorder so we can prevent out of stock or overstocking. A step further, information can be sold or offered as a product or as services. Carfax, as example, is will be an example of information product. Facebook and Google will be an example of providing information or information system as services. So manage, management by information system means that manager rely on information system and information to perform its management function. The information and the information system itself also need to be managed. So in this course, we're going to learn how to use information in order to perform the management function and also how to manage information system, including the development and operation of information system. So this concludes our lecture on the introduction of MIS and the whole purpose is in this course is to provide you with the conceptual framework and some technical skill such that you aware of the role of information and information system in the modern enterprise such that you can take advantage of such information system to help you to become a better manager. Thank you.